Welcome back to View Mastery's Intro to View course. This is lesson four, where we're talking about list rendering. Let's get started. In our data, we've added an array of product details. We want those details to show up as a list right over here. We'll use another view directive to help us create this list. So let's start off with an unordered list, and on this li inside of it, we're going to add that directive. It's called v4, and what it will do is loop over our details array in order to create a list of those details. In the expression, we'll say detail in details, and details refers to our details array in our data. Now in this expression, we'll say detail. This will allow us to display each string from our details array. We refresh and it works. Now let's break this down. In the expression, details refers to details in our data. This is the collection that we're looping over. Detail is the nickname or alias for the elements that we're iterating on as we loop through the collection. We can use that same alias in this expression to print out each string as we loop through them. It's kind of like v4 is an assembly line for creating lists. So you can imagine this mechanical arm taking these strings from your collection and making a list accordingly. What if the collection that we want to render into a list is a little more complex? In our data, we now have a collection of variants, meaning we have different versions of the product with an ID and a color, respectively. So let's get these variant colors to display on our page. We'll create a div and use v4 on it and say variant in variants. Inside here, we'll use a p tag to display the variant color with dot notation. We refresh and the colors are showing up on the page. When rendering lists like this, it's highly recommended to use a special key attribute so that view can keep track of each node's identity. Here we're using the shorthand for vbind to bind the key to our variant's variant ID value. For the challenge of this lesson, add an array of sizes to your data object, then use v4 to display them as a list. A link to the code playground is below. You can keep watching this series on YouTube, but if you want to track your progress and access other view courses, head on over to viewmastery.com. We release a new video every week. Plus, you can grab our free View Essentials cheat sheet. Thanks for watching.